Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 8th, January 8th. This is for whoever it resonates with. It may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see whatever comes up. The Knight of Cups. Communication. Somebody is moving forward in regards to a relationship. They're moving forward with an offer of love. All right. Could be happening quickly. I mean, something could be happening. could be instant. You know, somebody all of a sudden gets this desire to make a move. And they communicate. So there could be some communication coming in. Loving communication. And this is like a sudden decision being made. So it could be a sudden, sudden decision. Somebody has made a sudden decision to communicate how they feel or that you know I, I'm, I want a relationship or I want more I want more in a relationship I want to step this up a notch interesting let's get some more cards so I think somebody is making a sudden decision to Make some sort of love offer a little bit bigger, you know, increase the offer of some sort or even just communicate for the first time, whether it's the first communication or it's something a little bit more. Um, it could be either or, but somebody's, this is relationship growth. And they've made, they've, this is a sudden decision. So yeah, something has happened suddenly. Ah tower but it's reversed so that's good it's like I don't want to sacrifice any more time somebody can't avoid their true feelings perhaps they've been trying to avoid it but they can't oh well that makes sense that does make sense uh yeah so, yeah, it looks like somebody is really wanting another person because this person is so abundant. This person is so beautiful, nurturing, and, and uh, glowing. I mean, this person is absolutely... Um, I mean, she's, she's, she's ruled by Venus, so she's ruled by love. She's ruled by uh, all the good things in life. So this right here is, is, is the answer to this person's prayers. It really is. It's like this is a gift, and they see this person as a gift. So somebody is going to make a sudden decision to communicate how they truly feel to this empress. Now this is this empress is a person that knows her worth. This is a woman who is and this is a woman, okay? This ain't no man. This is a woman. Empress is a woman. Just like the emperor is a man. There somebody is going to communicate how they feel to this woman who is worthy. She is uh beautiful, she's experienced, she's wise. Um She's stable, she's secure, she's mature, um, she she's very abundant and she, she's got multiple options and I think that whoever this person is probably knows that she has multiple options. Um, <laughs> anyway, this person doesn't want to waste any more time because he sees this person's... Uh, Abundance. Everybody can see it. She is absolutely glowing. She is the, you know, she's the she's the queen of all queens. She is. She's got it all. Not only is she financially stable, the Empress is financially stable. Okay, she is. Not only is she financially stable, she is emotionally stable as well. She's a very stable individual. She's very generous. She's very kind. She's very nurturing. She's a, she's the whole package. 
And this person sees it, that she's the whole package. She knows her worth to the point where she doesn't chase opportunities. Opportunities chase her. This person knows that he has to come after her. He is moving towards her. So he, he is moving towards her. And I'm going to reiterate that again. The Empress does not chase. She does not chase. She doesn't involve herself in third party relationships either. Because she knows her worth. She's wise. She's a wise woman. She's an older woman. She is an older woman. She has gained wisdom through life experience. Therefore, she knows that she will get nothing involving herself in a third party situation. She is wise enough. She has learned. She has lived with pain. That's how she became the Empress. Wisdom. Life experience made her the Empress. She's not going to sacrifice herself for anything false. She knows better. And this person knows who she is. Okay? So, Taurus. Could be a Libra. Could be anybody. The Empress could be any sign. Any sign whatsoever. She is ruled by Venus. Venus is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. But it could be any other sign. Oh, Queen of Coins. You know, this could be a Taurus. I don't know. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be. Uh, this could be the person making the offer, though. It doesn't. The signs. I really don't like to state the signs. I shouldn't. I should just not even do that. The world. Oh my God. This person. Somebody's learned a lesson. This is a lesson learned. The world is a lesson learned. This is a completing one chapter. It's a major completion. This person wants a relationship now. Unbelievable. Death. Wow. A new beginning. We have an ending and a new beginning here. So some phase of your life is ending. Interesting. Three of Wands, what you've been waiting for. It's what you've been getting prepared for. The Empress has been getting prepared. She will stay alone rather than play games with any player. She won't. She knows better. She would rather be alone and grow herself and work on herself than to get involved in a third party situation. She will sit back and get prepared and wait patiently for her king. She will. It looks like some ship is arriving. Interesting. Four of coins. I think this is going to lead to something really stable. Something that you're going to want to hold on to. And this person wants to hold on to you. They think it's something that they can, you know, keep. You know, they want to keep you. You know, that, that if you think about way back, that's what they called it. They want to keep their woman. You know what I mean? They want to keep you. Whoever this person is that is coming in sees that you have a lot to offer. And they don't want to let it go. They don't want, they don't want, they see that, they see that, they see that you see your worth. And when you see your worth, everybody else sees your worth and, don't somebody will snap that shit up like stink on shit so uh yeah that's where we're at here looks to me as though we have a big transition going on somebody is about to start a new journey a new phase in life a brand new chapter and it does in revolve in regard revolve <laughs> it is in regards to a new relationship Somebody has decided suddenly that they want to have stability, they want to have um, security, and they want this golden opportunity that this person is offering. 
somebody is is being practical they're being realistic and they're gonna go after the gold I'm going after the gold that's what's going on here so I feel like today somebody is going to receive some sort of message or communication that says that they're ready they're ready for a relationship I mean that is ready for some sort of or uh, this could just be if you're already in a coupled relationship it could be stepping it up a notch like I said it moving it up moving it up to the next level we have a, a completion here of one there's no doubt these are this is a this is the last card in the deck and this is the death card this is a completion of one phase one chapter in your life And something that you have waited for for a really long time is arriving. Yeah, we have somebody that is deciding to make some sort of change. This is the hangman reversed. No longer going to be stuck in their place of disappointment you know I'm, I've I've lost an opportunity I've I've been at a place of loss somebody has been in a place of lack hanging on to resisting change somebody has been resisting change but now they're not this is this is these right here I, I was resisting change, but now I'm not. That is exactly what this is. And they're not resisting it anymore because I don't want to let this opportunity fall away. If you don't take the opportunity while it's being presented to you, it's going to slip away. And this person, whoever this person is, sees it. They do see it. Um... Somebody doesn't want to lose the opportunity that they're looking at, that they see. Interesting. They're ready. They're ready for a change. They're ready for a new beginning. They're ready for a new life. Somebody is transitioning very quickly. They are. They're releasing their stance. They're releasing their suspension mode. They're releasing their stagnation. And they're heading towards something more abundant, more stable. This person, this person has been sad and alone. They've felt like they unloved they felt unloved and now they're they're looking for love they're looking for love you know whoever this person is could have been dealing with another person that was emotionally withdrawn from them caused them to seclude themselves from the world This could even be a mother. Maybe this mother figure, I don't know, has held them back from moving forward. Who knows? There could also be a fear of commitment issue. Fear of marriage. Or maybe they had to get some sort of divorce. Before they could move forward. Who knows. Maybe they had to get out of a commitment with the wrong one. I don't know. This is like a unhappy situation. And this is like a false foundation connected right to it. Somebody may have been in a commitment with somebody that was unstable and unrealistic. And they had to. That had to break down before they could come forward. It had to. It had to fall apart. And perhaps now it has. It has fallen apart. And now they are, they're, they're looking at you. They're looking at you. Whew. Jeez. 
So yeah, this person doesn't want to be alone anymore. This person doesn't want to be alone. It's like, you know what? I have missed out on love. And I think this person has been focused on everything but love. But they now perhaps, you know, this opportunity is so close. It's like right there. It's like right in front of their face. And they they can't, I mean, they may be trying to pretend that they can't see it, but they can. They can see it. They can see the love. They can see the love. They can see it. It's so close. They can't. They can't pretend that they don't see it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like there is a... Uh, Somebody is deciding to start over in a new direction after completing a relationship of some sort. They have completed something. This is a completion. Somebody tried to ignore their true feelings for somebody while they were involved with another person. Could be even a family member. You know, there could have been a family member in the way. Could be a mother. I don't know, or a sister, or a daughter, or something like that. Or it could be another, or it could be a lover, it could be a partner. Somebody has been in the way of this connection. They have. But I think that has now broken down. Something has happened. And now this person is seeing that there, because he, he, he is seeing that there's a stable opportunity waiting for him. He's seeing it. And it looks like he's going to take action and communicate because he doesn't want to be stuck anymore. The, I mean, he doesn't. He wants to build a foundation. It's like he's not, whoever this person is, and it's the man communicating, just so you know. This person is no longer wanting to just sit around and wait. It's like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that period in my life. I'm done being alone. I'm I'm ready. I want I want to hold on to you. So fours are about foundations, and they're also about angels. Four, 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 four. Foundations. Now this is something that has been cooking for a while. It has because of the fours. That's another thing. I feel like. Um, Whoever this person is that is coming forward has, you know, found some sort of inner peace with whatever situation that they have been in. And even though it may have hurt and it may have been a painful breakup of some sort, because this is a painful, it is, it's a painful breakup or painful Oh, choice, okay, because we have a choice here between two people, two, you know, and I, for some of you, this is definitely family and love, you know, family versus love, you know, um, some of you, it's, it's two partners, whatever, but there's definitely a choice between two here, and I think this man has made a choice to follow his heart and choose love over whoever it is that's standing in the way. And fours are angels. Remember we talked about that. Four is the angel number. So it's divinely guided. Okay, it is. It's like the angels are bringing this to fruition. They are. Um, all is well. And I think if whoever, if you know who this person is, um, I feel like this person is going to make a move. It's going to be a sudden decision. Maybe they've already made the move. And things are going to start to be moving a lot more quickly. Interesting. So yeah, somebody's made a decision. Somebody's made a painful, stressful decision to unblock their heart and go after this abundant woman who knows her worth, whoever she is.
after after taking a break for a while and I think this person probably took a break or didn't communicate because there was another person that was influencing them there was but now that's over it's over because of this death card and this world card it's over one opportunity has been dropped one one situation it's like I'm dropping it I'm not going to hold on to this unstable situation when I have this opportunity to be taken care of because she's the ultimate caregiver, the Empress. She is. She is the mother. She is She is the, the caregiver of Amal. So I think that whoever this person is sees that they want this beautiful soul they don't they don't want to let they don't want to let this woman go they don't want to let this woman go whoever she is and it could be somebody new in their life it could be somebody new and they know that they have to make a move right now because she is the pick of the litter because she knows her worth and you know confidence is the highest form of beauty and and the empress is the most confident woman of her, of them all because she knows she doesn't have to play games because she knows her worth any woman that involves herself in a third party situation has low self esteem and low confidence. She ain't the Empress. That's not the woman in this reading. The Empress doesn't involve herself in that kind of stuff. She doesn't. She doesn't. Nothing, no false foundations for her. Uh uh. No. And when, she, because that's the, that's the energy she puts out. Everybody wants her because that's the energy she puts out. The jokers are intimidated by her. The jokers are going to go after the uh, women that don't value themselves. Just saying. So anyway, we have somebody that is coming up with an offer. They're making a sudden decision to communicate you know, how they truly feel, you know, maybe they want to get into some sort of relationship or they want to take the relationship up to the next level um, after things have probably been, you know, stalled or whatnot because there was another person hindering their decision to do so. So that is what I have for today. I see an ending. Something has ended or it is ending. Somebody is standing up and they're going down a new path and they're leaving this other person behind that hindered their happiness. Okay? Somebody's leaving somebody, you know, whether it's a mother, a daughter, a sister. And I'm not saying you got to leave them behind. It's, I'm leaving their opinions behind. I, I'm not going to go with what they feel. I'm not going to go with what they think. I'm not going to listen to what they say. Or this could be a partner that you know, has been, they had to get a divorce from her, they had to break up from her, whatever. Could be, could go either way. Somebody has been in the way, and this person, it's now over with this person. It's over. It's ended with this person, and now they can go after this empress. That's what I have. I'm going to do pick a card next. So stay tuned. It's going to be pick a card, um... How does he or she feel about me? There'll be three piles, you know, the whole nine yards. Stay tuned. I'm also going to do Leo for January, the second Leo. Talk to you next time.